Hi everyone, it's April with Hair 101 and I'm here today to review a new product I'm so excited about you guys. I have four things I'm going to show you guys today. I have a flat iron, a wand that I'm really excited about, and then these two awesome products. So we have the heat protectant styling cream that you use in your hair before you blow dry it. And then afterwards the styling spray kind of sets it. And it's a pump, and I like that. And it's they actually smell pretty good. Here we go, let's get started. I'm going to just apply a little bit of this throughout my hair, and it says straightening cream on it, so like really it's great when you wanna use the flat iron, but it's really good for any type of heat. So when you're blow drying, it helps protect it, and also if you wanted to use some kind of a wand or use the flat iron to curl your hair, you can still use this. It, I don't think it straightens it, it more just heat protects. So here we go, I'm just gonna add a little bit because I don't have very much hair. And spread it throughout my hair. My hair's already been air drying for a little bit, so that's okay, it's still damp. Oh, it's feeling dry, okay. So now that we've dried the hair. All right, so let's talk about this Lioness Beauty Bar. It is a high temperature one, you guys. This goes up to 450 degrees, which is actually too hot for my hair. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. So it has a little temperature dial inside that you can turn. And so it doesn't tell you the exact T, it just kind of is from 180 to 450. And then just an on and off switch. So the on and off switch is pretty basic. And then it just has a little indicator light. So there we go, we just turned it on and you can see the little light turns red and that's how you know that it's on. So don't forget to turn it off because it, it gets hot. All right, I'm gonna have it just below the 450 because I do need it pretty hot. It heats up pretty fast, but one thing that's really nice is it's like a satiny silk plastic. I don't know how they do that. I've never felt a flat iron like this. It's like, it's like a powdery soft satin finish. It's really nice. And I love the fun color. They have so many pretty colors with their products, so that's really cool. Um, one thing that it says on the box, which I thought was kind of funny, so it comes with this little warning manual beauty bar instruction slash warranty card registration, all this lovely stuff. Oh, here it is. <laughs> yes, so I was reading through all this important information, and this is my favorite thing. It says, never use device with bare feet. I do that all the time, so I'm gonna have to make sure I don't. And then I was like, why? And then I thought, oh, maybe you'll drop it on, bring your toe. No, I think it's more for like, if you're standing in a puddle, you could get shocked or something. I don't know, but I found that interesting. So make sure you're wearing some flip flops or some shoes or something. All right, so I think that I distracted you long enough for this to heat up. It feels pretty hot. Okay, so one thing I looked right off the bat for quality flat iron, I'm sure you guys do the same thing, is I want the plates to be floating plates. So when you push on it, okay, so you can see the plates, and when I push down, it kind of cushions. So there's a like floating plate in there. So that's a huge thumbs up, because if you don't get a quality iron and it doesn't have those floating plates to where they can switch from side to side, up to back, you can get hair in there that's not quite the same thickness on one side or the other, and it doesn't flat iron very well. This kind of molds around the hair and gets it perfect and flat. And also, I also look for the curved edges when we're focusing on that. So you guys can, you can see right here, I don't wanna to touch it because it's hot, but the edges are not square, they're rounded off. And that is awesome for when you wanna flip your hair or curl it or whatever you wanna do. So awesome, awesome there. And then the other thing that is a huge problem or not even problem, what do I wanna say? Okay, another huge factor is if it pulls the hair or not, because you all know you bust out a flat iron for the first time, run it through your hair. If it's snagging your hair and catching it between the creases and breaking off your hair and hurts, it's like a no-go. This one does not do that. It's very, very nice glide. I'm gonna show you guys right now. All right, so I'm just gonna grab a clip. And here's the thing, you guys, I wanna kind of curl my hair with a flat iron. I, obviously, it works really good straight, and I'm gonna show you a piece just straight. 
but I'm going to be curling my hair with the wand and parts of it with a flat iron to kind of show you all three pro or all, all the products I have. So I'm not going to flat iron all my hair with this. I'm just going to do a little piece and then show you flipping and curling with it too. So the first little piece, I'm just going to do this one by my face. And here's the thing. The reason I'm not doing my whole head is because once you heat set your hair with something, it's really hard to get it back. So if I were to flat iron all my hair, it'd be really straight. I would have to wash it and dry it again to curl it for you guys. And I want to wear it curly today. And my favorite thing to do with my flat iron anyway is curl. So I'm going to go through and just show you how it flat irons. Oh, it's so smooth and nice, you guys. Nothing pulled. See, if I wanted, and before it cools off, I'm going to just curl it because I actually want to wear it curly. And it curls amazingly too. Ooh, that was nice. And that's after it had been flat ironed, so that's pretty good. If I want one more, one more little turn. And sometimes I just shake it. There we go, that's better. So you guys can see it gives this really pretty, soft, like more flat to the head curls. And that's what I like about using my flat iron for curling my hair is because it's short. I can make it so I don't have a huge afro and kind of just keep my hair a little bit lower to my head. So I'm just gonna curl this bottom layer. And I actually like to use the flat iron to curl the bottom part of my hair because I found with the wands on how short my hair is, I absolutely love the wands for longer hair, like shoulder length and longer. It's the curl that a wand gives is beautiful. It's unbelievable. But because my hair is so short underneath, it's easier just to clamp because it doesn't get hot, very hot. I mean, I can touch it on the outside of this. So it's easier just to kind of, I mean, so it's easier just to kind of grab like a vertical chunk of my hair and put the flat iron on it and then just kind of roll it towards the back of my head. And I don't burn myself and then it gives this nice little curve pattern. And I don't even really use a mirror most of the time for this. I kind of just fill chunks and roll it back. So that's how I get the bottom part of my hair curled. And towards the end, I'll kind of get a mirror out and make sure that I got most of the pieces. So as you can see, I have my fun flat iron curls on the bottom now and like I'll turn around so you can see the back. It's, it has like a nice curl to it. That's a good base for me. So now I really love the shape that the wand gives. So I'm gonna just turn off my flat iron and switch over to the wand. So this is the Lioness Beauty Bar, the four piece. So I'm guessing that means like four pieces of the barrel, but it's really like a five piece, so I don't really know what that means. But what it means is it's awesome. That's what it is. I am so excited about this. Let me show you why. So first of all, when you go to buy a wand, it's always like, oh, what size do I want? I don't know, do I want the taper? Do I want the not taper? Like, you kind of want all of them, but you can't afford to buy all of them and you don't really want to store all of them. So this makes it so much easier because they just have the base and then they have all these different attachments that you can put on it. So the sizes are the biggest one right here. This is the big mama. So this is the biggest one. So it's 32 millimeter barrel dimension on this one. And this one I would love, like I, I used it on Ambry for her big curls the other day. She wanted her hair like big curls, not the skinny little teeny tight ones she has naturally, which is funny because she's four, but I wanted to use it on someone with long hair and she was there. So she loved it. It was beautiful. So love that one. Probably not for my hair, but for all of my clients that have long hair and my girls, love that one. And then the next size would be this 25 millimeter one. And I could probably use this on my hair if I wanted a really like loose wave on the top pieces, like on this side especially. But um, it's kind of like a universal good size. So then the next one is this tapered barrel. So it goes from 18 to 25. So it's the same width on the bottom as this one. Like it gets as big as that, but it's smaller at the top, so it has the 18. So this would be your smallest. And this is the one I like to use for my hair just because I have short hair so I need, I just kind of use this tip because I only need to wrap it around like just that tip part. I don't need a huge long barrel because I don't have a ton of hair, but it gives those beautiful, like the beautiful curls where they're kind of looser and then tighter at the end. So that's a really fun one. 
And then the last one is this 19 millimeter. And this is another one that I can use on my hair really well. I use this one and I did all of my hair on Saturday. I'll show you at the end of this video what that looked like. It was really fun. It made it really big. It was like Shirley Temple girly, but it was so fun. They were bouncy curls and they actually lasted till the next day. I wore them to church like that too. Like I just had to retouch like two on the side. So that was awesome. Really loved this one. So that's something that I really love about the, the barrel the um, wand curlers is that you can use them on your hair and then get away with going a couple days without restyling your hair. Maybe just a little touch up here and there. So like I have a lot of long hair clients that do that. They kind of wash their hair, then they'll curl it with the wand and then they can get that to last like three or four days even. So this is an awesome product. Okay, so here's how you use it. You just pick the top that you want and it's pretty easy to tell where it clips in. I mean, there's, it's really simple. You can see the attachment in there. There's really no way you can mess it up. So you just stick it on and it clips. And then when you want to take it off, you push in these two buttons. There's one on the front and the back and it just lifts off. And it's really simple. So, and then it has two settings on this one. It's just high or low. So I'm going to put it all the way up to the two and let that heat up for a second. And then the other thing that I really loved was that it came with this little heat protecting glove. So a lot of people will put this on the wrong hand because you just think, oh, I'm right-handed. Yeah, well, you're holding the iron with your right hand. So if you're right-handed, stick it on your left hand. It's going to be whatever hand is holding the hair. Because I always use my right hand to hold the barrel and then I wrap with my left hand and then just kind of hold it there. But this will save your hand. And I love that it goes all the way down my wrist because I've had burns on my wrist from wands before because you're kind of wrapping the hair around and the tips down there. So yeah, it's a really good glove, good quality. And let's get going. I'm going to do the rest of my hair with the wand. And this also said, do not ever use it never barefoot. So I learned something new from this book, little book of instructions. So to test it, you just lick it. I'm just kidding, don't do that. It's hot, you can feel the heat coming off of it. These get hot. So I think it's hot enough. We're going to drop it down, and this is really hard without a mirror, so I'm gonna be looking up in this little monitor as my mirror. And like I said, I just kinda of use the tip part. And some people really worry about if the hair's straight, or if it's like, I don't wanna burn my hair off like that Tory girl. <laughs> or if it's like, if if you get it to where it's straight around the barrel, because you kind of saw that I just kept hold of it and so it twisted a little bit. I don't mind that because I think it gives kind of a pretty curl to it. So you can see that. Look at that pretty S shape. I love the wand, you guys. It's just like so unique, such a unique curl. You can't really get exactly the same with a flat iron. So that's why, but like I said, it's too hard to do my short, short hair with this. So I do it this way. And there's the next phase. So one thing that I always do is I kind of hang the flat iron over this way so that the skinnier part is down. For me, it's just easier that way. Yeah, thank goodness for this glove because I would have burnt my hands like 30 times by now with having short hair. It's not quite as scary with long hair, but it's a, like a must have for short hair. But I love this wand. It's really great quality and I love that you have the option to switch all of the barrels I mean that's just so cool so now I usually just go through and separate some of the curls make it look a little bit messy because that's how I like it so just finish it off with some of this styling spray it smells summery I like it all right, and then you are done. Seriously, you guys, I think this is an awesome product. Yeah, like I said, I've tried all of the barrels. They're all great, all good quality. So the wand gets up to 400 degrees and the flat iron 100 or 450. So that one's a little bit more power. That one would be awesome for like Brazilian blowouts and straighteners and things where you really need that heat to lock in whatever you're doing with your styling product. 
but I seriously love both of these products. They're going to be in my daily routine. We are excited because we have a coupon code for you guys. If you would love to try out some of these products, click the link below and you will have 30% off of your Lioness choice of products. So make sure you fill your shopping carts. Don't forget the coupon code, links below. So I'm really excited about these products. I'm loving the barrel and I'm excited to get to use that on all kinds of updos. Flat iron, super good quality. So check it out guys, let me know what you think, comment below and make sure you give this video a thumbs up because look at those pretty waves. Like, can you imagine if I had hair all the way down here? Yeah, somebody needs to grow my hair a little bit faster because now I'm excited, I kind of want to grow it out with the wand. I want to be able to curl all my long hair like that. Ooh, time to put my extensions in. So, and don't forget you guys, I am growing a teeny little baby girl in here. Oh, there she is. I am 17 weeks right now while I film this video. And if you wanna get all the nitty gritty on the pregnancy and how I'm feeling and everything, then it's over on my other channel, April's Life. So go check it out, subscribe, and start watching our daily vlogs. We do it every single day. We even throw in some fun, crazy challenges and stuff over there. And I also have Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, and Periscope, Periscope. So make sure you guys go and follow me on all of those things so we can be BFFs everywhere. Thank you so much, we'll see you guys next time, bye. Big chunks of blonde and really small pieces of the brown. So you transition over pretty quick. We don't wanna overdo the brown with her. She definitely loves her natural light hair.